Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Teja, but you can also call me Tay, and welcome back to the 30 day challenge. It's day five on the island. Um, I do apologize that this video is coming out a day late, but I do plan on posting this in day six on the same day, so hopefully I get everything done. But we are back on Sprout, and I'm just talking to Daisy May. I wanted to get some turnips from her because I do have to get rid of all of these trees before I actually start decorating on the island. Also, we have Henry on the island. Island. Um, I actually got all of my other villagers that I needed for reaching three stars. They aren't all the villagers that are on my dreamy list for this island, but I just needed to autofill the majority of them so I could reach three stars. So um, I was just running around the island checking on things before I go and talk to Isabel and I found that lost item and it actually belonged to Patty. I have never correctly guessed which villager that lost item belonged to before, so that was just super exciting for me. <laughs> it was kind of cool. But I also wanted to show you guys my map before I move on to anything else for today. And here is the map and what it looks like. Here are all my current villagers. We have Quinn, Tank, Pappy, Patty, Ava, Roswell, Ketchup, Diana, Henry, and Tipper. So as you can see, I have a few of my dreamies and I still need to find a couple more. I do have the majority of their amiibo cards, so hopefully that isn't too much of a problem. But the map is the same, it's most likely going to stay the same um, in terms of terraforming. There's nothing that's going to change because this is a no terraforming island. So yeah, that's just the map update. But let's go ahead and talk to Isabel and Tom Nook. I have a feeling that we have reached three stars. I've done everything I needed to in terms of requirements to get there. So I talked to Isabel and she did confirm that we have three stars. So I'm super excited. Everything is pretty much set in stone. I can really start building and doing all the things. Um, so after Tom and Isabel kind of got excited about KK, I time traveled to the next day and he visited our island for the concert. Which, look at all my villagers. They're kind of like a random bunch, but they are really cute and very colorful. But I noticed something when I was watching this. I noticed that the Able Sisters aren't included in this group watching the performance. Which, that's kind of sad. Like, I feel like of all the NPCs, like, they work the hardest, to be honest. Like, Blathers is just in the museum sleeping away during the day, but Able Sisters are hard at work constantly, so I don't see why they can't be a part of this group. So honestly, justice for the Able Sisters, I feel like they definitely deserve to see KK at this private concert. But anyways, after the concert, I finally time traveled and it was time to actually head over to the Able Sisters, but before I did any of that, I noticed that Roswell was thinking of moving out, so that worked out perfectly. I can easily fill in one of my other villagers that I need, and I also wanted to clear out all of the mannequins across my island, which as I mentioned, all you have to do is change the design, and then they will all disappear across your entire island. So that's how I make that work, but before I did any of the code shopping and stuff, I really really wanted to go over to Canva and make a little mood board for the island. I don't typically do this on Canva specifically, but I do make mood boards on my actual island. But I thought I really needed to do this, one, just to kind of show you guys what I'm visualizing for the island, and two, because I really, for this island specifically, don't have a very good idea of what I want and all the builds I want to make so I just thought putting all of my ideas and the colors and the aesthetic into a visual representation of the island would be super helpful for me going down the line. So I'm just on Canva here. It is a website um, where you could pretty much make whatever you want on here. There's multiple uses for Canva, which this is not sponsored or anything, but it's just a tool that I really like to use and I make all of my thumbnails with Canva. So yeah, very great resource as well as Pinterest. I typically actually plan out my islands on Pinterest more so than Canva, but I think Canva is just easier for you guys to see what I'm thinking for the island. So I just gathered a few photos that I actually found on Pinterest and I'm inputting them here into my mood board and I'm just having all the different colors that I want for the island. I really want to stick to like a more rustic kind of style island, but also incorporate some meadow core slash cottage core to it. Um, the colors aren't your typical farm court colors. I really want to incorporate like blues and red 
an either dark brown or like an oak wood kind of brown so that's like the overall color scheme i thought it was really pretty just kind of visualizing like denim and farm and putting them together and this is sprout <laughs> That's kind of the general idea of the island. So as you can see, I also started adding in little details just to bring it together and just things that reminded me of the vision that I had for this island. I really wanted to incorporate cosmos throughout the island. I think that's going to be the main flower. So I put in some daisies into the mood board as well. And again, sticking to the whole color scheme. So yeah, I think it turned out really, really cute. I like it a lot. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this mood board outside of just referring to it later or just for this video but this was definitely fun and a different take on what I usually do in my island planning process so I hope you guys are enjoying this because I really enjoyed it also in my mood board I really wanted to include my villagers that I will have for the island just so I can see them all together and how they will look in this kind of style so I wanted to create a little separate area for all of my villagers and just have them kind of laid out in the middle of the mood board and what's so great about working on a mood board is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Like it's kind of just you throwing in whatever you want or whatever ideas come to mind and just putting them all together. So it's just, like I mentioned before, a good representation of your island. So this is the mood board that I came up with on canvas for Sprout. I just put in the name of my island, the theme, a list of my villagers, and then just a couple photos that represented what I want the island to look like down the line, as well as like my color scheme. But the next part of my island planning process is heading back over to the game and going to Able Sisters and of course downloading all my codes. I am looking for ones that are kind of similar to the style that I made my mood board in. I think I'm really going to go for that concrete road as my main road for the whole island. But if you see any codes that you like today, feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot all of the ma's are down there at the bottom but if there are a few that are shown in the video and you don't see the ma for them um i will have all of the codes listed on my pinterest hopefully soon so keep an eye out for that i'll let you guys know once that's officially done and everything's on there but I just go through a various different codes. Um, I go for dirt codes. I'm looking for my road code. I download a bunch of blankets and of course just a few signs and stuff that will add little details and just make the island more lively. I also of course look for some clothes for my resident rep just to make her feel included and fit in with my island theme. Um, but that's essentially it. I just kind of look for codes that I really think represent the theme and the colors that I want to go for for the island. But yeah, that's basically the whole code shopping process. Now the last step in my island planning is of course making a mood board on my actual island. So before I start placing any items down, I pretty much like to do something that I just call a code dump. Um, which is exactly what it sounds like. I just dump all of my codes on the floor in an open space and see what they look like together. I'm trying to figure out which codes I like the best, which ones I don't really like. All of this can really depend on the time of year that you have your island set to because the grass can definitely change the look and style of a code. Um, so I'm just placing them all down, seeing which ones look good together, and looking for the ones that kind of stick out a little too much. My goal when making my islands is to make it feel very cohesive, almost as if like all the codes were meant to be together, like a collection of codes designed specifically for a theme that I'm working on. So that's the goal of this step in my process of planning. So yeah, I just placed down all my blankets, all the roads, all the other things. I feel like creating a mood board is also helpful because once you start placing your items, you can also see which color variations you like versus with the ones that just don't really work as well. It's just kind of a way to visualize everything and make everything feel cohesive in terms of color scheme and size and shape. That's just basically what I like to do for this part of my island planning. Also, since this is a farm core island, it's just as important that I see what the codes look like with my flowers and some of the crops in game because sometimes, I don't know, maybe I'm just very picky, but sometimes the codes will look 
kind of weird next to certain crops or flowers. I don't know if that's just me, but I guess I'm just very particular when it comes to my islands. <laughs> but I start placing some of the flowers down. Like I said, I really wanted to use the cosmos, so I placed those down to see the general style of what they'll look like for the whole island. And I just put them all sporadically just so I can see them in different spots. And I also make little clusters of items together, seeing which ones I like. And um, the only thing that I didn't really include in this mood board is bushes and fences. But at the time I was recording this, I hadn't unlocked the ability to customize fences yet. So I couldn't really customize the ones that I really wanted. And I didn't have any fully grown bushes yet. But essentially, this is what my in-game mood board turned out to look like. I think it's kind of reminiscent of the mood board I created on Canva. I think all the codes will look even better once I start making builds with them and including all those fences and buildings and stuff, but I'm really happy with this collection so far. So let me know you guys what you thought of today's video. Was this helpful for you? Hopefully this gave you a little insight into how I plan my islands and it might help you guys plan some of yours if you're stuck or you aren't sure how to start your own island. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys, but definitely let me know. I hope you guys are excited for Sprout. I'm really Really looking forward to making builds on the island finally it's my favorite part of the game so if you enjoyed today's video definitely consider giving it a thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one bye